good morning my dear students so today in the continuation of the bonded uh, 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 for uh, nailing technique we will be discussing something about the nailing in the tibia okay yes, sir so before that uh, this is the actually a tibial nail what is the angle known as what is the angle how much is the angle if it is there it is all 110 ekini bhai khale 110 man hobo 110 ঠিক আছে এই গো এন ওয়াই দিস ইজ অ্যাঙ্গেল ইন বিন মেড এন্ড হু মেড ইট সো ইনিশিয়ালি ইন দি ইভোলিউশন অফ দি নেডিং অ্যাকচুয়ালি কেনেল ওয়াজ ইন্ট্রোডিউস ফর দি ফিমার দেন এ ডায়মন্ড শেপের নেল ওয়াজ ইন্ট্রোডিউস ফর দি টিবিয়া অলসো এন্ড মিনওয়াইল পিপল ইউজ টু এপ্লাই দিস কেনেল ফর দি টিবিয়া অলসো ইফ ইউ গো উইথ দি ইভোলিউশন দে ইউ নো This nail was introduced in 1930 by Kunzers, and the evolution in the that it is later on being converted to interlocking device again in German people by Gossick and Flick in 1970. And there was a effort to apply this same nail for the TV also. So later on they they applied a diamond shaped nail. Later on, it was not very much popular. Diamond was given because to prevent the rotation and instability. Yes. So today, initially again the nail was straight. Then again, concept of your nail angulation was done by Hersher. So H is angle. A angle is being made and four to five centimeter below. Then there is the angle. So this is to help you to have. Uh, if it is so uh, what what will be the axis it is online or offline track it is offline because you are not the same thing you are going for a different way so it is offline sort of yes or no but nail shape this is in online so introduction is offline because you are not in the same thing it will be like this and maybe you will be supposed to go straight so to introduce this this angle is in the introduction yes now certain things you have to understand there is uh, okay for the most of the diaphragmal fractures ideal choice is to go for intermediate device however there is also a for to do training for proximal and distal fracture also the limitations are somehow overcome in a distal part by by the by the locking device in the two planes there is some modification also there yes and then so upper part also there is different axis of interlocking interval yes so these are basically to accommodate the fracture in the proximal as well as the distal point Sometimes the locking box are still there. This is there. This is supposed again from the other person. But combination of both. Sometimes the fragment is only then is supposed to go like this and distal fragment in two plane fixation. So this is basically the subsequent case. A straight nail being angulated, angulated then again two holes here, two holes there in two different plane. Again there is axis different uh, angulation of your hole so as to accommodate. Uh, the other other fractures, particularly the end fractures. But as such, for the diaphragm, it is the ideal to go for nail. Okay. Now, can you do nail in every cases? Can you do? Give me example where you cannot do. Previous history of nail unit. Previous history of nail unit. Fracture is not in the position. The angulation, some some angulation. Is there uh, which is not acceptable now? But some angulation is acceptable, like angulation in distal part, which is angulating in the axis of measure moment to some extent acceptable. The rotation of your is around 10 to 15 degree, also somewhat acceptable. The angulation around 10 degree, 5 to 10 degree, acceptable. One centimeter shortening is also acceptable. So some acceptability is there. 
So that is why a fracture who is already having a union, now again coming with a fracture, you cannot go for nailing because this tract is producing. Because I got a so angulation is there, but the united basis is being fine. Now he's coming another fracture here. In this situation, it will be difficult to go for. One more example. Yes? Okay, infection in cases there is not ideal to go for it. Yes, active infection, uh, wait, what anti active infection means? Okay, chronic osteomyelitis is not a choice. Even a compound fracture also people used to put for locking nail. Even in compound fracture also people used to go for primary fixation with medullary nail. Up to three B. If he is happy with the development, everything is very clean. If the patient is coming very early, excellent surgery, excellent development is being done. In those situations, one can go for primary fixation with but active infection not only here, also also in the here, not only here, also the infection, particularly in the pumps. So if it, it is also important. Some piece of infection is there, some pustule uh, infected with is there in the entry point. Not a good chance. Supposing barn is there, active infection is there, pass is there, stops in infection also. Not good. But something more important is there. What is more important? Hmm? Okay, certain cases like where medical activity is too small. Osteopetrosis, marble with disease, certain conditions are there. So, medical is too small, he cannot negotiate. Osteopetrosis condition. Because the medical is very small, very thick bone, that is not a good choice. Between bone disease, certain conditions are there. Besides, the matter, something more is more important. What is that? What is more important? What is more important? Children, where there is no epiphysis is huge. Not a choice. But the so important thing is that the children where the epiphysis yet to be used is not an ideal choice to go for it because you will go to the nest for the children. But then it's also so certain contraindications like earlier male union, infective condition and particularly children before skeletal maturity is not a choice to go for it. Because it is a contraindication. Otherwise, uh, also the digestion fixer can be addressed by addressed by maybe fixation. Okay, fine. So uh, that is these are the indication and contradiction. So indication is going up to the extent of compound fixer type 3B. Even if the patient, when the surgeon is happy with his blood balance, the patient is coming very early. One can go for it. One can go for it. But by if there is a pouring pass, infection is already settling, not a good choice. If the patient is coming late to late, all already infection is settling, not a good choice. So in these situations, better to go for the external fixer or for something, let it heal, then you can switch over. We talk how can one can switch over to this? See, sir, that is the extreme of your indication. Indication, as I said, diversion, if I go metaphysical fracture to some extent, can get this. Some modification can be done. Okay, modification of the nail. Expert nail is a type of modification again. Expert nail is a type of modification. Well, basically, same. Same thing when extended indications of your, of your nailing where the metaphysical part is involved and you have a different axis of locking so as to have a better fixation. The conventional locking poles are not able to do uh, fixation. So in this is called expert nail. Expert nail is a type of your nail where it will be the same nail but there your locking poles are in different axis. Yes, expert nail. Same thing again I told you that. So the modifications are being done but Subsequently, to accommodate other good problems besides diversal fractures. Okay, sir? Now, 
entry point already been discussed. One thing you must know that before going for the PXR operation, one thing you supposed to look for is the moment of the knee joint. This one may not complain you. If the moment of the knee joint is not there, you may change the technique. This is another thing. Contraindication also, indication also. Indication contraindication in the sense that in this sort of situation, so you do not have a different device so that you can address it by the suprapotlar area. Understood? So in a situation who is coming with a fracture, divisional fracture, planning for a person should have good range of knee movement as well. So you need to do certain hyperflexion also to have better assist to be the, uh, your uh, So if the patient unable to do so, supposing he had some injury earlier, stiffness is there, and you can able to have around 10 to 20 degree of movement only, not beyond that. So that will be a more difficult situation for you. Can be done. You can do what your device is different to address it for the super of course. Understood? So that is why actually before going for the operation, one should also have a good knowledge about the neurology vision. Otherwise, you will have a very difficult situation because that set is different set or superbutler instruments are different. Understood? Okay. Now, you know, incision, as I discussed already, Achha, position, as I told you, the reduction is more important. The reduction, I told you that there are certain things are there. One is the stamen pin can be passed. For the calcaneum and for the distal part of the uh, tibia also. You are to be Distal, which part? The epiphyseal scar. You can pass the traction. See, I told you that somebody used to go for traction for maintenance. Various techniques are. Somebody used to apply a bolster, triangular bolster, to be there and remove some traction. Understood? Okay. Somebody have a support is there, then you are suspending it, no traction. That is assistant is going to be Again, your technique was that you keep it like this, give it traction. Traction in the calcaneum or traction in the most distal part of the epiphyseal plate. Actually, epiphyseal scar. This is called epiphyseal. Whatever epiphyseal portion, you find a line there in the axis of the epiphyseal. Called epiphyseal scar. So, we you can also pass the pin. So, up to that extent, male is not going, so you can pass it. So, for giving that. So, these are techniques. But your idea is to do the reduction. And for reduction also, anybody who can tell me some more thing. Yes, one can go for some other techniques also for maintenance reduction. One technique is a, suppose there is a compound fracture here. What simple technique you can apply so that your reduction is maintained till the uh, remaining technique is over? Can anybody think of it? Huh? Oh, plate. Unicortical plate. Suppose if you are applying a very small DCP or even recon plate or even sometimes a one third development, apply it to two screws, which is very soft, not passing over, but that will enough to maintain the reduction at the period of time. Huh? So, reduction is a must. So, how to have the reduction? Ideally, to go for close reduction. Yes or no? If the close reduction fail, what next? What next is go for mini exposure and do the reduction? Yes, one has to maintain the reduction. Yes, if you are able to reduce it, you have to go for mini exposure then. Then that monitor can be maintained by some clamps. Yes or no? You can maintain the clamp with the help of front clamp of outside the towel tube for the reduction zone. Maintain it. Understood? Any open fracture techniques are there. Here you can do it. And again, open fracture or other technique also, there you can externally fix it also. It can be applied for the minute, this is distracted. So, these all techniques can be applied to acid the reduction. Reduction is very important for before fixation. That can be done by various techniques. One by the pins, another by manipulation. Even application of your plate, particularly in compound fracture, one can do when it's already exposed. You can apply very small plate over there, maintain it, and reduce it. Reduction is easy. 
So it will be very easy to cut out the other thing very quickly. Understood? Yes or no? Then plan can be applied. Understood? Then external fixer can be able to distract or to maintain it in good position. Understood? Then it has to maintain and expose and other things that are. As I told you, that entry point is online and offline. The online access is the medial slope of the lateral tibial spine. Medial slope of the lateral tibial spine. Medial slope of the lateral tibial spine is the area of entry. So you have a tibial spine over there. Tibial spine. So medial slope of the medial slope, medial slope of the lateral tibial spine. You have any answer? Two spines are there. So medial slope of the lateral tibial spine is the area where you enter. And it should be anterior to the anterior to the inter meniscal ligament. Two point. Number two, your point should be very central. That can be confirmed by the X-ray also. Now in the X-ray, you're supposed to have a very good pure epidural. How do you know it is a pure epidural in this year? How do you know that I know? Suppose if the rotation is there, if the rotation is there, if the rotation is there, everything will be altered. So how do you know that my X-ray is a pure epidural? I am getting the pure. Ah, fibular head should be bisected by the lateral edge of the... Uh, understood or not understood? So fibula is here. Fibula is lying here. So fibula is lying here. No, fibula is lying here. Fibula is lying here. So if you take the X-ray, X-ray in this area, you will find that this lateral edge of this tibia is over bisecting bisecting the tubular head. Does it? Yes, sir. Okay? So if you are taking the x you will find this is supposed to overlap. Understood? So if it is rotated in more, if it is like this, this. Then pure should be APU hosia bisected. Head is by, by head. How is covered by how is it? It is understood. So literally this, it will be this. So that is the point. So you are entering, then your axis of diamond or uh, diamond avail. Diamond avail should be there. That your axis should be there. So you should go nicely, not towards the posterior. So direction for initially posterior, then you have to go in the direction of the middle vector. T. Make it bigger. Then subsequently you will have to pass the guide rail. So next time you are going to pass the guide rail. The guide rail is very important to pass. The guide rail if it is not very central. So various techniques are there. Do not try to hammer the guide rail. Rather control it with the help of key handle. And is supposed to lodge up to the end. And in a in a situation where it's supposed to lose, keep keep the uh, guide rail keep in the center center both in A B and lateral view. So it's supposed to be in the center of the distal end both in A B and lateral. View. So in the case of commutative fracture, you may not able to have a very good reduction. But your idea is to go the tip should to be at the center at the distal end of the tibia, both in the AP and lateral tibia. Understood? Okay, fine. That is reduction. Next thing is the rimming. So there are techniques of rimming also. So initial images end cutter, and subsequent images are the side cutters. So in uh, while doing the rimming. You have to be very, very careful that you do not do unnecessary damage to the tendon. Right. So that is tissue protector should be applied. So that you are remaining and do not start remaining before entering. Do not start remaining before entering. Do not do not do it. Remaining before it entering. So you are supposed to enter inside. Then you start doing remaining. 
not starting beforehand. So always go inside, then you go for you know, this problem. Now, while the question of remaining is coming, you're supposed to know where not to do remaining and where to do remaining. What are the things that can be advantageous by doing remaining? So remaining has more plus and minus things. So um, uh, there is some sort of controversy also. Plus minus points are there. So somebody says they better not to do in particular in case of compound fracture. Why? Because compound fracture already damaged the outside periosteal level. And remaining also doing the industrial network. Yes or no? So thereby your both side circulation is somehow jeopardized. So in compound fracture, they say it is better to go for non remaining Unremaining. Understood? One point. But in contrary to this, there are some studies where people use remaining in compound fracture also, but having good results. Yes, sir. Two point. Number three, the remaining, what are the advantages? Remaining is advantageous that you can accommodate bigger name. Bigger is better. Bigger is better, but in our situation, it is not never beyond 11. So if you do more remaining, what are the advantages? You are remaining doing the industrial network damage. And also all the material which is cut out on the inner side of the bone are helpful to act as an internal graft at the fracture side. This is good. The minus one is a generate lot of pressure, one. Number two also generate lot of thermal exposure when the thermal tempers also. These are bad. So generation of the more, the more generation is more, if you are cutting more and it is which are creating more extents. So shuttering, while this shuttering sound is coming, that is the point where you have to limit your head. That is the point where you have to limit. So shuttering means more struggling. More struggling means more generation of compression. More generation of compression is thermal process. More thermal is more generation. Yes, sir? Yes, sir. So remaining plus minus both things are there. It is said after remaining, the industrial network is the best in the close pressure. But if we leave the industrial network, take the upper hand almost more than six times than a normal time to compensate the loss made by the industrial network. Understood? Yes. So understanding is there that this is a compensatory mechanism. So industrial network is the best. Then the producer network will take the upper hand and it will compensate this mechanism. Understood? Yes. So, at one distance, also, remaining also causes there is a pet decay because all the vessels are open up. And there is tremendous temperature um, um, generated, temperature as well as pressure generated in sedimentary cavity. This may push the debris into the blood circulations. That leads to your, your uh, ARDS, uh, 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 hmm? and it said that those person who is having lung injury and pressure to be also do not do the on the contamination. It says that the chances of it is very high. So even person is having confusion in the lung, and also typically better not to do it. There you should go for At least that is one of the important contrary reason. It may jeopardize the lung function again. So in cases, injury cases, better not to do living. Understood? Yes. So this is another contrary reason. And important, that is certain, I told you all these things. How do you do the living at the commuted fixed area? Supposing this area is very much grossly commuted. This area, there is two. And you said there are many fragments are there in this area. A lot of fragments are there. These are intact. This is intact, but combination of fragments are there. You somehow pass the guide wire inside. Okay. Guide wire is lost at the center in the AP and lateral view also understood. 
how to do the rimming this area you are doing starting to do guitar is because then you are starting to do rimming okay fine 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 this is community area now what you are going to do in this area do not do rimming this area rather in this area you push the rimmer inside and start rimming in this area understood so in the community area do not do the rimming Yeah, it may display the already preference. So you push it, you start doing rimming here, go, 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 go. Here in the community area, stop, then push it to the other end, then again start doing it. This is technique. Understood? So understood. So uh, these are the plus minus point, where to do rimming, where not to do rimming. <clears throat> then also, also how to stop it when to stop it the remaining is very important so if you do more remaining that is sometimes if the bone may be thin enough if it thin up if you are thinning in the bone too much it is not a good thing good thing for the future so you do not do so much remaining you do when you heard a chatter sound is coming stop it there then we accommodate it usually if you are doing Then the remark, the main use, then you supposed to put the needle nine size, bulk size smaller than this, eleven, remaining ten size needle, ten remaining nine size needle. Understood? Okay. So that is the part of your remaining. Next thing is the measurement of the nail. How do you know what measurement you need? Good. One is your your tendon dart of this year. How size? Size can be determined with the help of rimmer. You know that I have to hold the pass the rimmer of eleven size. Then selection of the nail will be ten. Ten. Length should be done with the measurement many times direct and indirect technique. Other techniques. One technique is the guide wire which is like here, and the remaining part of the guide wire is subtracted. Then the other part is your guide wire. So in this step, another step is there the exchange of the guide wire. You know this thing. The slip is being passed. <clears throat> Remove the guide wire, initial guide wire with knob. There is a knuckle. There is a little bit of part, and there is a knob there. That is limiting factor. That is important. Important, particularly while using the uh, flexible knob. Otherwise, it may be detrimental in the knob. That is, you may not be tripping. It is the beach, so that is very important to limit one. Yes, then subsequently before going for the nail, you change the nail, the uh, guide wire, from the northern one and the straight one. Yes, that is another step. Then you are pushing the nail. Before that, you need to understand the length. Length, you know, that one direct and indirect. One is your indirect technique. And as I said, they need to put the nail by the side of the bone and take the X-ray and see how it is passing. You have to determine that length is the determine into this way. After that, you are going to push the nail. Why pushing the nail? Do not do hammering. Hammering is not a good thing. It's supposed to by the hand. See some more on top of it. By the hand, free hand technique. Hammer, if you are going to use, it may cause damage. So go up to the right. So there you have to give support of the patient. Yes. Then you can push it, and finally you can apply some sort of injection to finally loading the head, but not the initial form. Never try to do hammering. Hammering is detrimental, may cause more damage. Never try to do. So it is hand push techniques. Yes. So finally, it is this. Then you can do. You can do some sort of hammering to raise the nail in the desired position. Subsequently, you are going to go for the what? Interlocking. So who is who should be first first? Distal one or proximal one? And what are the size of the goal? This is not the goal. The locking bolts are a bit different. Locking bolts, you know, you have the tips are a bit different, which is almost uh, diamond shape. 
Locking bones are different, not the same to that of the person has. What is the size of the bone? Can anybody tell me what is the size of the bone? Yes. The size of the bone is two. One is 3.9, another is 4.9. 2.9 is selected for the nail, which is smaller one, a size. Only more than nine and beyond that, you suppose to select for nine. Understood? Yeah, understood or not understood? So, the screw we are going to pass for it is going to go the, but it is not the cortical screw. Then, these are called locking bolt. Locking bolt. How many types? Two types. Two types. Two types. Bold is important, and they are, uh, they are, they are, they are, the nail is small one, so you necessarily go for smaller bolt because the hole will be small. So that is three point nine. If it is more than uh, more than nine, nine and more than nine, it is four point nine. Diameter of this two. Length of this two, you know, length should be always sufficient enough. Nowadays, people used to see if you are doing this screw, and if you put the screw somehow, somehow, somehow like this, it is better. People are saying that if it is one or two test this side and one or two test this side, this is much better thing. If you keep it like this, says, right? You can go up and passing it and then it is. Cut it. I mean, you have to pass it equal. But you, have to, you can do the measurement. You need to do the measurement and select the screw. But ideally, for, for better fixation, is that one or two tape this side and one or two tape outside is going to be better. But, so, looking should be done distal to proximal. Distal to proximal, why? Distal to proximal, why? Then, after doing distal looking, you can trust if infection can be done. Infection can be done. Yes. So, but many times the jigs are not very good for distal locking. Distal locking mostly done by free hand. And proximal locking is most of the time done by the jig. So, jig is going to align because somehow in distal part, jig is somehow unable to maintain this same track. That is why free hand techniques are much better in the yeah, in the your uh, distal. Proximal part, you have to go for the cheek, that is easy to do. Okay? And the size of this screw, as I told you, this size of this screw 3.9, 4.9. Length of this screw, you have to determine the measuring tape, measuring cost. One or two tests this side and one or two tests outside, other side are better pictures. Yes, it is safe. Right? So you have to go for the distal to proximal. And this hole, as you know, this is a what? Is the oval sort of hole, you not know, the round hole. Uh, what is the advantage of this? Advantage is this, this called dynamization. The dynamization here is uh, so you have to apply this screw in dynamic mode. So dynamic mode will find that this screw is placed like this here, not there here. So if the dynamation is done by removing this screw later on, you will find a time will come, it will come, the pigment will go like this, like this, like this, like this, and at the time it will come like this. Thereby, the pigment is going along with it. Are you getting my point? Yes or no? Yes or no? So nail is there. So you will find the nail is there. Okay, okay, this. So if the dynamization is done, your ultimate screw position will be where? Here. In the original point, here. This side. So once this is uh, here, and if you do dynamization, then this screw is being removed, then the one at a time will come, then this screw one will be going like this. Like this. Like this, so like this is the key hoy, then the fragment also going along with this and this is called dynamics. It's a technique where you may need to stimulate in between to accelerate the process of healing. 
by called dynamization. Yes. So dynamization are two concepts of here. One, if you want to do distal dynamization also, you can do proximal dynamization. As such, distilling will not have a dynamic technique. So if the fracture is very much proximal here, so the removing of this screw is completely ideal. It is better to go for the longer. So the dynamic should be done in longer to even like the shorter time. Longer fragment. So if the fragment is very here fracture, then you do the dynamic here. But if the fragment is here, then the dynamic should be done in this time. So that we have longer fragments of the key and there is no pressure. But that can also be. The dynamic zone is a technique which you need to follow after say three to four months time, particularly to accelerate the process of healing. Accelerate the process of healing. Any post-operative period you have to be, you can hear advantage is that there is, there you can maintain the alignment, you may maintain the length of the air. Yeah. This, besides the problem, but from the conduct pain is that sometimes you may need to be very observant in case of your conduct pain. Pull up the patient regularly. In the plaster, he does cannot have a moment there in the knee and ankle joint. Yes, on for a long time, still patient are problems are there. And one day is that if you do the fixes and you can mobilize the patient early, even you can send the patient for walk also. Uh, like you know, immediately after a person, which is many, many times not possible with plaster. Possibly, so, so these things are there. So, you do not have this possibility of doing the, the mobility in case of plaster, but you have quite a of advantage in doing the fixation. Fixation gives you good alignment, and there is no possibility of your internal instability or rotation instability. Length is also maintained, joints are free, can help more men, patient have to walk to them, can go for early walk, early, early walk, professional walk, yes or no. But in the plus standard, liberty is not there. That is why in the learning technique, so advantages are more rather than being good for the treatment because you need to be more observant. If the plus is not good, again, you may need to really, you may call, you have to call the patient. Depending of so many things are there. So by doing nothing, you can give more freedom to the patient and early mobilization are possible. So that is the basic things we have discussed about the naming um, and the TBI. Any question from anybody? Any question from anybody?